Angie's with me now. It's so good to see you. It really is. You're remarkable. It's an incredible documentary. It's on tonight uh, on ITV at 10.40. And I feel as if I got to know you really well. That was what was very good about it too. Yeah, I mean, Matt's done an amazing job. It was The funny thing was, it was just the three of us in the team, myself, Nick, the cameraman, and Matt Owen, and we got to know each other really well, which I felt I could really open up. And well, no, you must have trusted them so yeah, much. Yeah, you know, I let them in my life for yeah, a year, yeah. almost, a year filming, and we became great friends, so I felt at ease, and mm -hmm. I think some of, the, some of the issues I could really open up about, like, we speak about mental health and about my ambitions and what it was like for me leaving the Marines, and... I could just really open up to them and yeah. hopefully that comes across and people oh, no, feel like they get to know me. It definitely does, it really does, because obviously what happened to you is horrific and it's one of those moments where your life is going that way and then it goes another way yeah. and I know you suffered a, a lot, from, uh, totally understandably, from depression and things like that, but how you picked yourself up, how did you do that? You know, how you picked yourself up and thought, I'm going to do this, I'm going to start running and not only that, I'm going to be the best. Yeah, I mean, probably thank the Marines for that, you know, the competitiveness the Marines put into me and... You know, I think I've always had that since then, but I think when people talk about going through problems and adversities, the one thing never gets brought up, which is so obvious to me, is just surround yourself by good people, you know, yeah. and they, they will bring you along. And I think things like the Invictus Games, that was what propelled me really and acted as a massive platform for mm -hmm. me. To, but unfortunately for me, the longest distance in the Paralympics was 400 metres, right. and I like running a lot further. So that, again, not to be deterred, <laughs> you know, deterred by that, I thought there's got to be other amputees out there who like running long distance. Mm. Done a bit of Googling, found out a, a Canadian guy who, who could run 10K in 37 minutes, 53. Wow. And I thought, <laughs> come on, I'll give that a go. And then, yeah, just joined at a, met up with a local running coach called Tony Clark, who uh, he runs for Liverpool Harriers, coaches for them. And just join them, and again, surround yourself by good, good runners. Mm. You now, I love the quote, and it says, um, the quote goes, if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to change rooms. And, you know, <laughs> I love that. that was kind of the thing with me, you know, I'm OK not being the greatest runner. I was turning up every week and I was the slowest in the group, but I yeah. knew that would bring me on. Yeah. And I think in life you should do that, you know, just surround yourself by better people and, and that'll bring you on. And, and just strive. Yeah, and that's been a thing for me, just that that's what's helped me in my recovery and yeah. by, by surrounding yourself by good, positive role models. And how is it, I mean, in a, in a sort of very obvious way, you know, I mean, obviously you're running on a, a, a false leg yeah. you know, from here. That must take a right battering, you know? Is it, have you had to, any yeah, problems with Yeah, I mean, the, the biggest thing for me initially was was obviously wanting to really push the, push the boundaries, yeah. but initially having to kind of weigh up the doing too much and, and trying to hold back a little bit. So long distance kind of marathons and half marathons, I've done a couple, but it's quite tough on the stump. So yeah. it's just about managing it really. And the five and 10K is where I really like, I like running. So it's, mm. it's just about managing that. And, and, but it's like everything, it's like you probably get blisters if you go for a run on your foot. I just get blisters on my stump, oh, that's, that's the only thing. So I know what you mean, I know what you mean, but still, but still. When you're running, what are you thinking? I just try and get out and be active as much as possible now, and I think being out running, it's, it's so good. I, I really believe running saves lives. My coach always says it, because it's funny with Prince Harry talking about it all this week on TV, and, yeah. it, it, you know, I, I can't recommend it enough, and it's helped me so much mentally to just get yeah. out there physically and... But yeah, just for your own, your own, your own mindset, just to get out there. And of course, you're married now, you've got children. I do like talks in schools and they say, oh, where are you going to do a talk for now or in businesses? And I, I'm saying, pass my leg, I need to go and pack this leg and show <laughs> these, this company this. So it's, it's great and hopefully yeah. they're just going to grow up now realising that anything's possible. And it doesn't matter, you can do whatever you, you want to do. Because I know you do motivational speaking and all of that. And you must, but just by doing the running and just by, by seeing the documentary tonight, it will inspire other people. And that's got to be what it's about too. Yeah, I mean... Obviously, it is, it is about me trying to break this world record, yep. but when I do these motivational talks, it's it's not about, look, I've been blown up in Afghanistan and lost a leg, and you have to have went through that to know what I'm talking about. It's The point is, life's tough in, in many, many different ways, whether it's made redundancy or struggling week to week financially or a death in the family. There's a million ways life's tough. The documentary is essentially saying, we know it's tough, but it's how you react to these problems and how you you react to these challenges, yeah. that's what's going to define you and, and hopefully people can watch that and, and take something from it. Well it's fantastic Andy, it's on tonight, Paragon, it's ITV 1040, not to be missed, thank you for coming in, for come me. back and see me real soon and good luck Definitely. with everything that you're doing, you're remarkable, absolutely remarkable.